We're now going to take a look at the repaired Leslie 21H organ speaker. I wanted to start out here at the Hammond organ though because somebody uh, made a, a correction to something I had missaid about this particular organ. I said that this was an M143. Well it isn't. It's actually an M101. And so someone had pointed that out in one of these videos. So thanks for uh, making that correction. I'll try and go back and and uh, figure that out or, or correct it in the title of the video. I think the model that I have is actually an M143. This is South Jake Hayes. This is actually an M101. I guess the I guess it's all part of the M100 series. It just refers to the different cabinet style. I think mine is called an early American. I'm not sure what this is called. Maybe contemporary. But here's the repaired Leslie 21H speaker. And also forgive me for something else. I, I think maybe I might have said that this particular unit was a 22H. Well this one here, which is actually South Jake Hayes, let's just double check the model on it because this one is a 22H. This one has got the uh, the 6550 amplifier. This was one that I uh, showed in a video before. I'm not sure how much I actually showed about this 21H. I think I might have showed the repaired amplifier. And I did show the motor. The motor that I showed a little, uh, little while ago actually belongs to this one. But this one had a bad field coil speaker in it. Um, we decided to just go ahead and go with a brand new woofer because I think that's the, the easiest solution and just to make sure that we'd have good woofer performance. You, I think you can get those old woofers recone and we're not going to toss it but an, another problem with that old woofer was that the field coil looked burnt and so we just didn't want to take a chance on a failure of it even if it was recone the field coil might be might be something that would cause problems so what we did is we put in this resistor here and I, I can't remember if I did a video about this or not it's been kind of a while since uh, since I talked about this, but finally we've got it almost done. This resistor is the same resistance of the, as the field coil, and I think this is a 100 watt rating resistor. I wanted to get a good big resistor for good heat dissipation so the thing wouldn't get too hot, and so they would just dissipate that heat very uh, easily and evenly, because resistors can get hot, and so this provides a good margin of safety so that you don't have something that's just burning hot inside of this cabinet. But I put extra insulation on the wires because they've got about 360 volts on them, and I've just connected those up to where the field coil would go down here. Put all new capacitors in the amp, tested the tubes, tubes are good, and Here's the, the motor, that's the retrofit motor. You can see it's, it's working good. One thing I had to do with this woofer was to put some woofer spacer discs in there. I made these from a dowel rod, uh, made them a quarter of an inch thick, because the cone of this woofer was actually hitting the mounting shelf as originally uh, put in there. I was getting this, this buzzing distorted sound and I was trying to figure out what in the world it was. Well, it was just because the the lip of the woofer opening is a little bit smaller and somehow the original woofer that wasn't a problem but with this new woofer it is and so these woofer spacer discs help to, to just keep that woofer, give that woofer cone a little more clearance. I had to repair the wire and go into the tweeter and the crossover network. I had to clean the pins on the crossover sockets and we've got a new Leslie cable for this unit. This is one that actually belongs to a church. And so now I think it's uh, just about ready to ready to go back to its owner. I think the sound quality is good. It's kind of hard to hear. Let me see if I can hear.
so there's the Leslie 22H, or 21H rather, and the difference is that this amp uses 6V6 tubes, four 6V6 tubes, and two 5Y3s, and a 6J5 and a 6SN7, and this other one uses a solid state uh, bridge rectifier and two 6550 output tubes. So I'm going to put it back together here. I'm going to, I just need to burnish the contacts on the relay and it will be done and then I'll try to do a demonstration of actually playing it. I'll have to, have to put it on the dolly and move it in there. There's the Leslie 21H repair.